All right, guys, went back today taking a look at two great gonzos for right at about $25, give or take a few dollars, depending on the sale that's going on. Now, I've been digging into Amazon trying to find the absolute best deals possible on knives, EDC items, and flashlights to bring you guys the best bang for your buck. I saw both of these gonzos and loved the brand, so I figured I'd purchase them. They arrived. Let's dig in. If you like these knives at the end of the video, you can check the links in the description below. They'll bring you directly to the sale. Now, those are affiliate links, so if you decide to click on them, it helps out the channel at no extra cost to you. just brings you right to the sale page. We are going to start with the Gonzo Firebird FH924. Now, this is available in four different color variations, features a D2 steel blade and G10 handle with a wire pocket clip. Now, this is nothing spectacular. This is not mind-blowing when it comes to quality, but what it is is a great knife at an affordable price featuring very nice materials. The G10 has some pretty decent texturing, jimping on the back of the blade. The D2 steel comes fairly sharp out of the box, and the action is fairly smooth. Now, it's not something that's going to close on its own. You know, it's not riding on ball bearings or anything like that. So it's not the smoothest action ever, but it does a great job at flicking open. If you're looking for a nice little fidgety knife, something that you can carry in your pocket and really kind of just fool around with all day, this is a, a pretty cool option. I love the large cutout in the top of that blade, that Warncliffe style blade. Allows you to do that reverse finger flip or the standard finger flip with that. So uh, that's going to be the only mode of opening that knife will be the kind of cut out in the blade. Uh, come short of just pulling it open like a standard pocket knife. Now this wire clip is pretty good. Very solid. It's not flimsy by any means and it's completely reversible. So I swap that over and it's got a nice lanyard hole in the back. When it comes to blade centering, this one lines up very center, uh, nice and true and it flips open really well. So overall, just a great kind of micro EDC style knife that if you want to finger flip your knives, this is going to be a great option. That's kind of why I purchased this knife. I wanted something small, something that I could reverse finger flip and something with a reversible pocket clip. Now, for me, that pocket clip is important because I carry either a blaster or a cell phone in my right hand pocket. So I keep my knife in my left hand pocket, even though I'm right handed. And I love the fact that Gonzo has included that reversible pocket clip. Now I actually saw this one pop up on Amazon and man fell in love with the overall design and feature set. Again, G10 handles, D2 steel blade, except for this one's actually a coated D2 steel blade to help with corrosion resistance. This is the Gonzo FH31B. And there is over five color variations or five color variations of this knife. Again, it's got a reversible pocket clip and it's sort of a deep carry style, but you will have some of the top of the knife exposed. It also has a cover on the reciprocating side of the knife to cover up the spot that you don't have your pocket clip. So a nice touch. This one is a flipper action only. And the action on this guy, again, is going to be nice but not the greatest okay it, you know you you're not going to get everything for 25 dollars. also the liner lock on this one you can almost hear it it's kind of gritty when it engages with that blade so it's not the uh smoothest to unlock now that's been kind of wearing in over time when i first pulled it out of the box it's actually a little bit difficult to undo that liner lock but uh, that's been working in so overall a great knife again I'm trying to tell you guys like the subtle differences between something like this and other 30 40 and 50 dollar knives I review and those those details do matter but when you look at the price of this knife it is blowing me away this guy generally sells for 27 to 30 dollars depending on the color variation selected but right now on Amazon, there's some 10% off discount codes. And I think I grabbed this for right at about 25 bucks. And that's why I wanted to kind of combine these two gonzos together. I love the blade profile. This is very ergonomic in your hand. The lockup is rock solid. Blade centering is great. You know, other than for me, the liner lock being a little bit... Uh, kind of sticky at the beginning, really working itself in. And the fact that the action um, is fairly smooth for the money, this is a great knife to add to your collection. For me, kind of like the shining star of this 
uh, two knives is this guy right here. This little Gonzo is amazing. If you were looking for a little kind of a flick open knife, the FH 924 is going to be an amazing knife. Now, the listing does say it rides on ball bearings, and it may ride on ball bearings, but, you know, don't be deceived. That action is going to be not the greatest in the world, but, man, pretty darn good, especially for the money. And again, that blade lockup is rock solid. So I'm super glad I added this to the collection. I like it so much. I might actually purchase the gray color variation. I've been really into that color variation lately. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you guys like Gonzo knives? They have been a staple of this channel and the main channel for a very long time. I've been carrying them back when most of the blades were 440C. So it's nice to see they've expanded their materials into D2 and other steels. And this is a great addition to the collection. Both of these really are great additions to the collection, especially at $25. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.